Hello plant fella, welcome back to your Vanisca El Floro, where we uncover the secrets of the plant kingdom. Today, we're journeying deep into the heart of the jungle to meet a plant hides a secret. One that has fascinated scientists, inspired engineers, a plant that's not only a master of disguise, but also a pioneer in aviation. Well, kind of. Meet also Mitra macrocarpa. Also known as the Javon cucumber is a climbing vine native to Southeast Asia, particularly to the islands of Java and Sumatra in Indonesia. Also Mitra macrocarpa belongs to the Cucurbitaceae family, which includes more familiar plants like cucumbers, melons and squashes. But unlike its relatives, also Mitra macrocarpa has developed a unique adaptation that sets it apart. Also Mitra macrocarpa was first described by the German botanist Karl Ludwig Blum in 1825. Blum was a significant figure in the study of Southeast Asian flora, particularly the plants of Java, Indonesia. He provided the initial scientific description of Also Mitra macrocarpa in his work on the flora of Java, contributing to the broader understanding of the region's unique plant species. This vine can grow up to 30 meters tall, reaching towards the light by using its tendrils to grasp onto nearby trees. What makes also Mitra macrocarpa truly extraordinary, however, is its fruit. These large, elliptical fruits can grow up to 20 centimeters in length, housing hundreds of winged seeds. When the fruit ripens, it splits open to reveal these remarkable seeds. Each seed is equipped with a pair of delicate wings Unlike the average plant that just drops seeds and hopes for the best, this vine takes matters into its own hands, or wings, rather. Each seed is equipped with a pair of perfectly crafted wings that allow it to glide gracefully through the air. This ingenious adaptation ensures that the seeds can travel great distances from the parent plant, increasing their chances of finding a suitable spot to germinate. In fact, the seeds of Alsamitra macrocarpa have captivated scientists and researchers for over a century. Early naturalists marveled at how these seeds could glide for hundreds of meters, almost like natural paraglider wings. This observation even inspired the design of gliders and aircraft wings in the early 20th century, particularly the concept of flying wings. The Horton brothers, German aircraft designers were notably influenced by the aerodynamics of these seeds when they designed their Horton Hoat 129, a flying wing jet aircraft. The seeds' natural ability to glide long distances with stability and efficiency provided key insights into the development of aircraft that prioritized minimal drag and high lift. This concept was further explored by engineers like Ego Etric, who designed the Etric Torb or Etric Dove, an early monoplane that emulated the wing shape and gliding properties of the Alsamitra macrocarpa seeds. The Torb was the first mass-produced military aircraft in Germany and became quite famous during World War I. The secret behind this remarkable flight lies in the seeds' design. The seeds of Alsamitra macrocarpa are flat and lightweight, with wings that taper to a thin edge. This design allows the seed to generate lift as it falls, creating a stable, gliding motion that carries it far from the parent plant. As the seed descends, air flows over and under its wings, creating lift that keeps it aloft. The seeds are so well designed that they almost never spin or tumble, ensuring a smooth glide to their final destination. It's like nature's version of autopilot. This plant is a perfect example of how evolution can lead to incredibly efficient designs. But why go to such lengths to spread its seeds? For Alsamitra macrocarpa, dispersing its seeds over a wide area increases the likelihood that they will land in a favorable environment. In the dense, competitive environment of the rainforest, finding an open spot with enough light and nutrients is crucial for survival. It's like the plant's way of saying, Go forth, my children, and find your own patch of sunlight. Very inspirational. These seeds also play an important role in the ecosystem. Some may become food for forest animals, while others find their way into crevices or open spaces where they can take root and grow. In this way, Alsamitra macrocarpa contributes to the dynamic and ever-changing tapestry of the tropical forest.
The fruits of Alsamitra macrocarpa are large and hard, resembling gourds, and are not known to be edible. There are no significant records of the fruit being used in traditional diets or medicinal practices. The primary focus of interest in the fruit has been its seeds, which are notable for their gliding capabilities. The vine itself is also not commonly used in traditional practices. Unlike other vines that may have medicinal or practical uses, Balsamitra macrocarpa does not have a prominent role in traditional herbal medicine or crafts. Overall, Balsamitra macrocarpa is primarily valued for its ecological role in the forest and its unique seed dispersal method, rather than for any direct use by humans in traditional or culinary contexts. For plant enthusiasts interested in growing Balsamitra macrocarpa at home, it's possible to cultivate this vine with some care and attention. The key to success is providing a warm, humid environment similar to its native habitat. Start by planting the seeds in a well-draining soil mix, keeping them warm and consistently moist. As the vine grows, provide a sturdy support structure for it to climb. While it may take several years for the vine to mature and produce its iconic fruits, the wait is well worth it. Balsamitra macrocarpa is a shining example of nature's ingenuity. From its impressive seed dispersal mechanism to its influence on human technology, this plant continues to captivate and inspire. It reminds us that even the most unassuming plants can hold secrets that push the boundaries of science and design. If you're interested in getting your hands on Balsamitra macrocarpa or learning more about other fascinating plants, Visit our website at yuvaniskalflora.id or contact us via WhatsApp. We're passionate about connecting you with the wonders of the plant kingdom. Join us in exploring more of these incredible botanical stories. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Yuvaniska Elflora YouTube channel for more content. Until next time, happy gardening.